Hello YouTube and welcome back to Minecraft. This is my world of Castle Town. And all that's really changed in the courtyard here is the trees and the name on the sign. It says Black Citadel now. So, still this really long bridge. I turned a lot of fog on. You'll see that there is now a taller building here with outlying battlements. I'm probably going to include the towers on the side of the walls there to make it more efficient. The size of this room has now doubled. This what ended at this row here. I had to take all that lava out and dig down a whole nother square and then put the glass on top otherwise it wouldn't look this nice. Tiling was a pain in the ass as usual. It's this short because my calculations are that it would either end on the lava or a pillar. It ended on a pillar so I'd have to go a whole nother one to end on lava again. I'll probably have to move my stairs. I have not gotten around to that because I've not worked down here since I put in all the pillars and the extra pits of lava. I got tired of falling into the lava and I just backtracked because I lagged. There's so much lag on beta still. Can't do much about that. Though it seems to be a lot faster since 1.3. My horrible throne that I have done nothing about yet. This goes up to the top, which I shall show later. This used to be a doorway to the to a uh, storeroom. Don't have that in there at the moment because it didn't look very good after I looked at the outside. Okay, so now we got the balmans. This is a wall on top of a building, and there's just two ladders at the moment. Those. I'll go up there right now. Not developed in the courtyard yet. Not sure if I should put water there or lava. Probably going to be l water because it's a lot easier to carry and it doesn't kill me if I don't get out of the way. This was a, excuse my language, bitch to program. Because it wouldn't cooperate whenever I tried to do it and I'm a bit slow on the gain inside. All four of them have double irons. This is program mechanism and my loading is really slow for some reason. I have not used the repeater diodes yet. It's just that I have so much lag at the moment that it's not showing up like it should be. Active wire right there. But that that goes to the closed door, the right door. And this is all dead wire. Apparently my Texture pack doesn't work with beta 1.3 like it should, and it's not loading the red stone correctly. That's torch. It's a fancy mod, but it's probably going to be replaced with something simpler that doesn't consume so much RAM. And I'm oh, there's the ladder over here. But say cobblestone is a lot fancier with this mod, and the torches are candles. The usual. This is an empty room until I can figure out what to put in here. There's nothing in here whatsoever. It's the bottom floor of the tower. And well, there'll probably be a few different floors here. I'm not sure what to put in here yet. My friends and I are going to debate on that little topic. One of my friends will be helping out with this world. He will be doing a fortress inside the cave that I showed you. That big blown out cave. This is the top of the tower. There's, again, not much here yet. Because I have had schoolwork up the wazoo. I have had lots of stuff to do outside. And pretty much, yeah. This is two by ones. No, sorry. That's a more than one. I can't count how high that is off the top of my head. That's a 2 by. This used to be 3 by. Until I realized, hmm, 
Instead of an open doorway, why don't they put double steel and try and double iron and try and figure out how to do that? These, their battlements right here are not are not ordered properly. If it was only a single single castle, it would have been ordered correctly. That's why at the corners you'll see solids pieces. See, solid piece, solid piece. That's just to uh, make it seem more uni unilateral with the rest of the balance because otherwise it's just an awkward huge one will have an open spot in a corner another will have a have a turret piece and then it'd just be really awkward and I am on the wrong side of the wall um, I was debating on making this a turret on each corner but not sure about that yet I probably still will but it might take me a little bit to get the proper resources for it. Takes a while to mine all this cobblestone. <sighs> sure wish it was a renew renewable resource. Most of this is still from the massive dynamite fun I had a while ago. I did not show that in a video because it would have been extremely bad on lag. Hmm. <sighs> At least I'm more awake in this video. This is Actually, yeah, yeah. I just filled that in with cobblestone because I got didn't want to try and even take the floor out at the moment. Too lazy, not enough time to do all this work. That's my why my friend actually has Minecraft now, and he'll be has the same exact world. And one of us will be doing work, then we'll log off. He'll he'll send it the world to me. If I do work, I'll send the world to him after logging off, and we won't. We'll make sure we coordinate our times and when we logged on and off. Otherwise, there'll be a real mess. And there are a lot of suicidal animals down there. If I can jump on this turret, I could show you. Pig burned, cow burned. Yeah, that took that lava took a long time to get in there. That's like 13 squares of lava and 13 paths. That's just one little bit of lava. I did not show you the last video because I kind of, well actually you saw the lava, but I didn't get a chance to get out there through these windows that I have replaced now. The nether gate caused a lot of problems. I will not be entering or exiting the nether with fraps on because it is a lag producer. Extremely bad lag producer. Um, oh yeah, no, that's my storeroom. I have used one feature so far, the bed, and it does n not support in this, in this current form, so it means that the redstone also got a little bit of graphic redesign if the mod doesn't show it. It's just showing, not uh, just blocks right here, it's not really showing anything, it would be a red red blanket with a white spot on the end. Probably show that in a later video. This is my massive amounts of furnaces because I'm go well I actually have quite a bit of stone in some of these. Yeah, stone right there. Hey look, diamond. Diamond stuff. They're fancy in this in this mod. But I have them set up so when I get to building a few things I thought of that I'll have the proper materials to build them. Oh yeah, I could show you the massive huge hole. I don't think it'll lag on me. Hopefully not. Anyways. Uh, storeroom. Getting a little bit filled up. Not much at the moment. There's my chest and stone and iron that I located in when I was digging still nothing down here because it got all discontinued like in a previous video I do believe um nothing up here it's the awkward tower that I have not done anything with yet nothing up there I was um well from that tower well you'll see this massive wall of water here that just ends right 
uh, beyond that tree right there is where I was mining inside the ground and I found a whole crap ton of iron and a whole ton of cobblestone and there's a pig in here who's blocking my ladder come on die okay I don't need this Oh, that's probably why. Yep, gonna have to replace the floor with with cobblestone at some point. This is the one I showed you, but and I don't want to fall off because it's a long ways down. Up there was another part of the dynamite fun. This was the f this is the first part. I hit that massive wall of water right there. That there's an ocean on the other side of that little gravel piece there. And I also dynamited from above, too. So. Sorry about that. My phone started ringing. Um. I'm gonna throw this in the lava quick because I don't really need it in my hands at the moment. It's a bit of a waste of inventory. Thank you, Lava Spawn, for being there. I did not put that there. That was actually there when the map generated. Lucky me. Uh, that was dynamite fun right there. Or it was a creeper attack. No, it was most likely dynamite. Or I mined it out. I'm not entirely sure. Um, my steps are all gone. How the heck did I get up here? Oh, I know how, why that's there. Okay. This gravel was not here. This was actually my way out. But I put all this gravel here because I thought I was going to continue the wall at some point, which I was until I discovered that um, I didn't really need to. This massive vast crater here is simply gigantic, and I didn't take any damage. Oh, that's why. Yeah, I've fallen quite a few times, so I have in dev, uh, inf edit on just the armor, so I don't kill myself from falling off the wall so many dang times, losing everything. That trench, that pit right there goes straight down to lava layer, and there's also a little cavern off the side that goes to bedrock. So... <laughs> That's my feeble attempt of escape right there. That that pillar going straight up. Actually, I think I can reach it. Reach. Oh, yeah. Here's uh, some of my way up. What? Oh. I know what happened. I dynamited again, didn't I? Oh. Wait, no. That's the bedrock layer there. I think another cavern alongside of it has has the lava layer. That I also have here. That looks like an escape route I tried there. There's not much down here. It's just a big, huge pit that my friend Soul Spiral, or he might, he goes by Toxic Spiral as well. He'll probably be doing a huge, massive fortress inside of this huge cavern here that I is not natural. I discovered that little fact of how fast you have to run to escape from the dynamite. I didn't make it out all the way though, so I took quite a bit of damage the first time I tried, and I'm gonna use my pick. Because I can't get out of here for some reason, and... Come on. Come on. Come on. Well, since I can't reach my pick, I'll cut back to you well, actually, no, I'll just finish the video right here because time is running out and I have work to do still. So I shall see you all next video. Maybe I'll do a video on what the updates were. Goodbye.